Hey guys, Holly here. Join me for five minutes for a solid, difficult daily ab workout. We're gonna start with bicycle crunches. Lay down on your back. Push the small of your back into the floor. I want these slow and controlled. Do you see how I'm not rushing it? I'm actually lifting my shoulder up towards my opposite knee and that shoulder blade will come off the ground. You want to be shortening the space between your opposite rib point and your opposite hip point. All the while, the opposite leg is lengthening down away from you and it's staying strong. Point the opposite toe, engage the thigh, lengthen that leg away from you as far as you possibly can and do not let your core let go keep it strong you have 15 seconds of rest in between and we'll get to our next ab workout we're going to be staying on the floor for reverse crunches so get ready for that lift your shoulder blades off the floor stay in a crunch your chin is nice and tucked from here, you're lifting your hips off of the floor. Think of rolling your pelvis up. So those rib, those hip points rather, come up towards your rib points, shortening and closing that space. And then lengthen those legs away from you with control. You never want like the bread loaf effect. So what that means is you would look down at your belly and see that it's poofing out and staying firm down and in. So that might mean not lengthening quite as far as I am. Maybe you keep your knees bent the whole time and you just tap them towards the floor and come back up. Listen to your body, whatever you have in you. We're gonna rest again. Enjoy this 15 seconds. Love this next one, so get ready for it. We're going to be doing suitcases or in and outs, whatever you wanna call it. Balance on your butt with your hands propped up behind you. I like fingertips facing towards your body. You're going to lengthen away, lean back, lengthen those legs as long as they can go. Again, keeping the strong, firm belly. No bread loaf effect. So you lengthen out and then close in with purpose. See, I'm tipping those rib points down, narrowing them as I come forward and then slowly control back out. You can imagine a zipper from your pelvic floor up to your rib cage, keeping everything compressing up and in and also your sides compressing. So everything is compressing, firming, creating a corset. Next, you can enjoy some side planks. Side planks are seriously the best. One of my clients, anytime I make her do side planks, calls me La Diabla. I get it, they are so tough. So you're gonna prop up on the elbow, stack your feet. The elbow should be right under your shoulder. And once again, feet stacked. Hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked, body is in one straight line. From here, lift and lower your hips. So you're gonna drop the hips towards the floor just to control. I'm not even going very far. You can make it bigger if you're feeling up to it, go for it. And then I'm thinking of cinching from my side waist. So my bottom rib, my bottom hip bone are kind of coming closer together to lift me up. If you do that, you're gonna feel the obliques a lot. I'm keeping my chin pretty tucked here. You don't have to, you can keep it in one straight line as well. Rest 15 seconds and mentally prepare for the other side. Roll over, prop up that elbow under your shoulder, stack your feet. You know, if this is too much, just hold the side plank. If holding a side plank is too much, hold it on your knee. There's always ways to make the workout fit your body in your level. All that matters is that you're showing up today, you're going for it. When it gets hard, you keep pushing it. Your mind is so strong. If you just surpass your limits, you're gonna be like, wow, I actually am a lot stronger than I thought I was. And that's when working out and even doing these five minute ab workouts become addicting because you learn to show up for yourself. You develop that self-integrity muscle by doing what you actually say you're gonna do and you're gonna set yourself up for the rest of the day. Maybe it motivates you to do a, a full workout, go to the gym. So thanks for joining me and I hope to see you next time.